Hello, and here is the breakdown for Monday, the 28th of June. All right, so we start the morning in the usual way with the comprehension and reading until 8.15 or more or less when all the children have arrived. Then the first book they can uh, begin with is Build Your Brain Power and they can do pages 35 and 36. Um, I've chose, chosen two fairly easy pages that they shouldn't really struggle with. Um, I usually just go run through um, it with them and just give them a brief explanation. These ones at the bottom on page 35, they can, um, uh, if they're struggling, they can work it out uh, on their whiteboards and, and just tell them to break it down. All right, um, you'll probably find that they've skipped a page, page 34. That's not a, a problem at all. We do tend to jump around a bit in this book. So if they, they bring that um, up, then just let them know. We will go back to it. And then um, here is page 36. And um, they should also, once again, it's pretty simple. It's just about counting in fives and times in by five, and they should have no problem with it. There's also a bit of division on this side. All right, once they finish um, build, your, uh, build Your Brain Power, then um, we can go on to practicing times by 10 and times by 100. All right, so I will give you a, um, send you a screenshot of um, these sums, which they can just um, practice in their book. Um, this is what they're going to be tested on on Thursday instead of doing a times table test. So usually when we times by a 10, um, they know the little trick. They cover up the zero, they times by the one, it's five, and then they add on a zero. Okay, and it's the same with a hundred. They cover up two zeros, they times um, they, they, they cover up two zeros, they times seven by one, it's seven, and they write or add on two zeros. And then um, I'm also going to throw in a few sums like this. All right, five times 60, they do the same little trick um, where they cover up the zero, they go five times six is city, and because they've covered up one zero, they add on one zero, and the final answer is 300. All right, so the, those are the kinds of sums that they're going to get tested on on Thursday instead of um, a times table test. All right, after that, um, then just go over uh, their homework with them. This is their homework sheet here. All right, I usually um, just uh, go through the homework page, see what they have to do. Um, I've got here bring an empty two liter cold ring bottle. Um, so that's not for art uh, this coming Friday, that'll be for art the following Friday. So I'm just uh, warning them well in advance to bring that. Then these are the spelling words. I usually just go through the words. They read the words out aloud. Um, if there are any difficult words, which I don't think this one has, then we just uh, go over meanings as well. And then um, they answer these questions, find the spelling list, write down a word that rhymes with peach. They have to find three verbs, uh, a proper noun, two compound words, and one pair of homophones. So they just write in the answers. Then they come and show you, you sign it off. Then they pack up their homework. Also, please make sure that their homework books are handed out. The supplementary mass book and then my phonics and spelling, so they, they need to take that home so that they can do homework for the week. And then this needs to be signed by mom or dad um, and brought to school the next day, which I check, I usually check homework on the Tuesday. Uh, I make a note of who hasn't signed and then they better sign by the next day. All right, it's very important that um, their parents are kept well informed um, of any communications going out. All right, so after you've, uh, they've done homework, that'll bring them up to more or less 10 o'clock. If they're not uh, finished, uh, they need to just carry on until they are finished. But by then, usually teacher Moni comes and listens to their reading. I'm not sure what's happening, uh, if she'll still be available for that, but then let's see how things go. All right, other than that, then um, uh, playtime outside is from 10.30 to 11. All right, after break, 
Okay, they're going to um, write their Afrikaans spelling words in their hardcover book. So these words here that they're doing for Afrikaans spelling, we practice after break. They write it in the um, hardcover Afrikaans books. Uh, get a, a heading and a date. All right, like here we go. Uh, clunk, and we're doing the A clunk, the date, and they write the word. Usually, um, well, not usually, we always uh, go through the the words and we say it out loud together. Then we go over the meanings of the words and then they draw a little picture to show what uh, the word means. We don't write uh, English words in our Afrikaans book. We try and avoid that. And then they can write um, five of their own sentences using the spelling words and please remind them to keep their sentences simple otherwise they will just get the word order wrong so yanni is five year old egg was met siap okay very very simple sentences all right that's afrikaans they need to also color in their pictures and they can hand their book in for marking when they are done all right so then once that is done uh, and everyone is finished uh, also, if children are lagging behind, um, they don't have all day to finish it, then, then they, um, uh, if they're not finished uh, within the given time, then they, they should put it in catch up and then carry on with it when they have a bit of free time. Alright, then um, we're going to go on uh, to Top Class Learner book. This is just a reading and discussion book and um, we can read and discuss on page 47 and 48 um, about um, the theme that we're doing which is pollution and recycling so uh, you can just uh, go through these two pages with them just discuss and um, sometimes they ask questions um, and that kind of thing so um, it can just form part of a uh, an introduction to the theme and a nice discussion and it carries on on the next page on page 48 and then once the final thing they can do is um, we can uh, give them this handout all right uh, once again I usually just trim it around for the children they get to stick it in their hardcover life skills book um, this is one of the few things that I let them uh, stick in um, and it doesn't, uh, they don't actually need to write a heading or date. It just serves as a, a, a theme page just to show what the theme they are doing. Then they can color it in uh, and then hand it in for marking. All right, and that uh, takes us up to the end of Monday. And uh, we'll see you again tomorrow.